Hi guys, uh, in today's video, I'll be talking about dragging the anchor or how to detect that your own vessel is dragging anchor. I will also talk about uh, the actions to be taken by our vessel if we find out that other vessel is dragging anchor and we are in the line of impact. So we'll cover both the apps aspects, whether we are dragging anchor or the other vessel is dragging anchor and coming close to us. So dragging the anchor, uh, uh, when the vessel is anchored, it may happen especially when the weather conditions deteriorate that the stress on the cable increases and the cable increases and becomes at a very long stay with a lot of weight on it. The cable is lifted up from the seabed right up to the shank and the holding power is reduced. When the cable lifts by 5 degrees, holding power is reduced by 25%. And when it lifts by 15 degrees, it is reduced by 50%. As the shank lifts up from the seabed, the flukes break away from the seabed and start to drag. This is called dragging the anchor. How can we detect that the vessel is dragging anchor? Dragging can be easily detected when the vessel's position is plotted on the chart and it is found to be outside the swinging circle. It can further be confirmed by following. Take the beam bearing of any stationary object. If the bearing is closing onto the bow, it means that the vessel is falling back with dragging of anchor. If the handlet lower line can be lowered to the seabed and it is tending to lead forward, it indicates dragging of anchor as well. If you don't know what handlet line is, handlet line is a, a rope used to measure the depth of the water as an alternative means to the echo sounder. The rope has a heavy lead attachment attached to it, so which is used to lower it into the water and the rope is marked at different lengths to determine the depth of the water. We can also constantly monitor the GPS position on the chart to determine if the vessel is dragging anchor. By selecting a stationary target on the ARPA, if the target seems to be having some speed, we can get an idea on whether our vessel is dragging anchor with respect or relative to the stationary target on ARPA. Finally, through the visual inspection of the anchor cable, especially if the anchor cable is alternatively stretching to a long stay and then suddenly reducing to a short stay, indicates dragging of anchor as well. Action to take if vessel is dragging anchor. If your own vessel is dragging anchor, engine room should be informed immediately to prepare for maneuvering shortly. So engine room normally should be on a short notice. At the same time, pilot control and other ships in the vicinity should be informed by the VHS. By paying out extra cable, the angle between the seabed and the cable can be reduced and the anchor may regrip the seabed provided the holding ground is good. If the vessel fails to regrip by paying extra cable or if it is not safe to pay out extra cable due to vessel closing on to another vessel abaft of it, then it is better to pick up the cable completely and re-anchor in a relatively better position with good holding ground. Loading of second anchor underfoot and making fast lightly on the brake may also stop dragging of the first anchor. The second anchor cable should be paid out as it tends to lead ahead. Finally, both the cables are leading ahead and the anchors are holding. Engines may be constantly used to relieve stress on the cable. However, I must tell you the practical aspect here that whenever we determine that the vessel is dragging anchor, most of the masters are uncomfortable in letting the second anchor also go unless it's an emergency and the vessel is dragging onto the other vessel. The reason is that if two anchors are let go, there is a high chance of the anchor cable intertwining or fouling with each other, which no master wants to face. So normally, if there is sufficient serum available, we lift the anchor and re-anchor the vessel in a new position to avoid such a situation. However, like I said, if there is an emergency and your vessel is dragging anchor and in line of impact with the other vessel, then normally masters let go the second anchor to avoid collision with the other vessel. Other vessel drags on to own vessel because of dragging.
dragging of their anchor, the position of the other ship should be monitored frequently and it should be determined whether our vessel is positioned in the line of impact or not. The attention of the dragging vessel should also be drawn by way of communication through VHF or by giving short blast on the vessel. The port authorities and other vessels in the vicinity should be informed and engines prepared for maneuvering. At this stage, I must also mention that it is very important that officers on the bridge should keep an active watch during anchorage. Many ship officers become relaxed during anchorage because they perceive that the ship is stopped and hence is no in danger. But try to keep a turning, a try to keep the safety circle on on the radar, especially with the nearest vessel, to early detect the dragging of other vessels. The sooner you detect the dragging of the anchor of the other vessels, the sooner you will be able to raise the alarm because it is quite a possibility that the officer on the other vessel is not an active watchkeeper because of which he or she may have failed to detect the dragging of their own vessel. Action should be initiated by maneuvering to get away from the line of impact of the other vessel when dragging anchor. And this should be done as follows. If the distance between two ships is fairly large, it should be determined whether it is safe to pick up own anchor and re-anchor in a different position or not. If there is any doubt, then it should not be attempted because it brings both the vessels closer. Finally, if the other vessel is dangerously drawing close, then pay out extra cable to fall back and maneuver after vessel is away from the line of impact to the side opposite to the anchoring side. The vessel should go away from the line of impact in such a way that own vessel's anchor cable does not get fouled with dragging cable of the other vessel. Once the vessel is clear from the line of impact, another anchor may be dropped to hold the vessel's position. Sufficient amount of cable can be paid out on second anchor as well to hold the vessel. So I hope this video was useful for you to understand what is dragging of anchor, how to determine when vessel's own anchor or other vessel's anchor is dragging and what actions should be taken when again own vessel is dragging anchor or if the other vessel is dragging anchor and we are in the line of impact. Bye guys.